I'm Kang Shen. I'm Kota Mizumoto. We're here to introduce our new manuscript in your arm, entitled Interaxonal Interaction Defines Tiles Presynaptic Innovation in C. elegans. Similar to using tiles to cover the roof of a house, in neuroscience, tiling refers to the process of establishing non-overlapping synaptic domains between the same classes of neurons. Two forms of tilings have been described in the literature. The best documented tiling is the dendritic tiling shown on the left here, in which dendritic arbor from the same class of sensory neurons or interneurons cover the complete receptor field in a non-redundant manner. Dendritic tiling was originally reported for different classes of ganglion cells in the mammalian retina, dendrites of the multi-dendritic MD sensory neurons in Drosophila larvae also follows the rules of dendritic tiling, as illustrated by the graph on the left, in which dendritic arbors from two adjacent neurons come into close contact with each other, but do not cross each other. It is thought that this type of tiling is mediated by homotypic repulsive molecules on the plasma membranes of these dendrites. While the molecular mechanism for dendritic tiling remains elusive, at least one such mechanism has been shown to mediate uh, axonal tiling, a similar phenomenon shown on the right. The medulla region of the fly visual system exhibits both columnar and laminar organization. The axons from L1 and L2 cells make synaptic connections at specific layers within each column, but do not uh, form connections with target cells in the neighboring columns. Tiling of the L1 neurons requires DSCAM2, uh, a homotypic repulsive molecule. Um, single mutant L1 axons generated using the Markham technique target to the correct layer within the appropriate column, but then extend laterally and invade the L1 layers of the neighboring columns. Axon and dendrite tiling provide powerful ways to pattern the connectivity by restricting the growth of neurites. A growing body of literature also points to the notion that the partnership and location of synaptic structures itself are often precisely regulated. In this paper, we describe the regulation of subcellular synaptic localizations by the synaptic tiling rule. In nematode C. elegans, motor neurons form en synaptic connections. On the long axonal projections, synapses often form in a stereotyped small segment of the axon. For example, on DA9 axon, synapses only form in the posterior segment of the dorsal axon. The same is true for the motor neurons of the same class, DA8, 7, 6, and so on. Interestingly, the position of the synaptic domains from each neuron is invariable, and they exhibit a tile localization pattern so that each of the cells cover a distinct target field. Altogether, the DA-type neurons innervates the entire dorsal musculature in a non-redundant coverage. It is interesting to note that the axons from these neurons overlap extensively, arguing that the synaptic tiling requires mechanisms that are different from the axon and dendrite tiling, mechanisms that restrict the subcellular localization of synapses. Uh, there are nine DA class of motor neurons, and among nine, those nine DA neurons, we chose DA8 and 9, the most posterior two neurons as a model system to study the synaptic tiling. By labeling DA9 synapses with M cherry RAP3, which is the uh, uh, fluorescence type uh, synaptic vesicle markers, and uh, GFP RAP3, which is a green uh, synaptic vesicle markers driving from the uh, ANC4 promoter, which is expressed in all the neurons. We could label DA8 synapses in green and DA9 synapses in magenta in vivo. Using this strain, we conducted a forward genetic screen to identify the mutant with the uh, synaptic tiling uh, defect. And we isolated plexing mutant with severe uh, synaptic tiling uh, defect. 
In, in the plexing neurons, the nine synapses were intermingled with each other. <coughs> this synaptic tiling phenotype is caused by the anterior expansion of the DA9 synaptic domain as well as the, the posterior expansion of the 8 synaptic domain. Plexin is a well-known receptor for a transmembrane ligand semaphorin. Consistently, the mutant of semaphorin also showed that severe synaptic tiling defect like Plexin-1 gene, Plexin-1 mutant. Using mosaic analysis with rescuing transgenes, we found that Plexin-1 functions cell autonomously in DA9 neurons to restrict synaptic localization. Surprisingly, similar analysis on the transmembrane semaphorin, which is also required for the DA8, DA9 tiling, showed that this semaphorin is also required in the DA9 neuron for synaptic tiling. Therefore, we hypothesize that plexin and semaphorin both functions insist in the DA9 neurons to sense an unidentified molecule on DA8 neuron to establish the tiled synaptic domains. Um, this is drastically different from the canonical model of plexin and semaphorin interaction, which, in which the plexin and the semaphorins are often functions in a different cell membrane. We further explored the mechanisms of plexin's action by studying its subcellular localization in DA9. We found that at the tiling border, plexin 1 is localized to the distal segment where synapse formation is inhibited. The complementary localization of plexin and the synapses is consistent with the inhibitory role of plexin on synaptogenesis. The intracellular domain of plexin contains a RAS gap domain a point mutation that disrupts the gap activity, it's still localized to the synapse-free domain, but failed to inhibit synapse formation, causing a synaptic tiling phenotype. Similarly, synapse tiling defect was also observed in a gain of function RAS mutant allele, suggesting that the subcellularity pattern plexin uses its RAS gap activity to inhibit local synapse formation and therefore generates precise synaptic domains. In summary, uh, our study provided the first in-depth characterization of the synaptic tiling phenomena and provided some molecular mechanisms to explain the tie of the synaptic region. And we hope that uh, these studies will lead to further uh, explorations of the signal that is sensed by the plexin and the semaphore, and we hope to enjoy the paper.